Hi, I'm Susan Crayer. Uh, <clears throat> I have been in Athens for about 30 years and worked here as a cardiologist for that time. And I retired in 2018. I actually had to stop working because my body wasn't allowing me to do all the things I used to do. And uh, it was because I have rheumatoid arthritis. And um, that's a disease where your joints get stiff and your muscles get stiff. I've had three tendons ruptured, like in like quadriceps and both biceps, where the tendon just tears away. Um, didn't have to have surgery for that, but I did have to get a shoulder replaced in the past, and um, my knees hurt now and then, and, there's, and there was just a lot of things. For instance, my hands just couldn't do the techniques I used to do in the heart cath lab. But more recently, <clears throat> I have had a lot of problems with stiffness in my neck. And there is a condition in rheumatoid arthritis where the, um, you can actually pith yourself <laughs> if the neck gets too arthritic. There's the second vertebral body can punch through and kill you. But I don't have that. But I do have a lot of stiffness in my neck. And um, I've tried to do regular exercise to keep going. I've also had um, massage frequently. And um, for a while, I went to a chiropractor and had adjustments on my back and neck. And trying to stay aligned had been helpful. But um, when my neck really started to bother me, I went ahead and had uh, an MRI after I spoke with my primary physician. And um, then I wanted to see Dr. Walpert because um, she's good at working with people and especially necks. So I thought, hmm, that's where I was. So she, I got an appointment that took a couple of months to get, but, because she's very popular, <laughs> and uh, when I saw her, she examined me and listened very closely to what I was saying. She had seen the MRI, and um, after I held my breath for a minute, she said, well, you really, there's nothing I can do surgically to help your neck. I said, okay. In a way, I was glad because <laughs> neck surgery is not a piece of cake. But she suggested that I consider getting acupuncture. And she even named a good person to do that for me, which is Dr. Richards, who has worked at Athens Regional as an anesthesiologist for many years and knows Kim Walpert very well, and they were friends. and. I also knew Dr. Richards because I worked in the hospital and had surgery a few times there and she would be in attendance for my surgery. <laughs> but anyhow, so I have known of her and, um, and I was kind of excited to see her again, frankly. She has since gone on to learn about integrative medicine, which is a a branch of medicine where problems that aren't usually addressed by a regular physician might have a, a better time of it with a person who's doing integrative medicine. So uh, that was good for me too. I was, wasn't real excited about having surgery, but um, when I would turn my head, there would be this grinding noise in my neck, and all the muscles were tight in my neck all the time when I'd get massage. The massage therapist would have to work for probably half an hour just to try and relax the muscles in my neck because um, the discomfort I was having was so, um, 
I just kind of seized up, basically. So when Dr. Walpert examined me, she said, oh yeah, your neck muscles are very tight. And um, then she checked the strength in my arms and um, spent quite a bit of time with me actually, which was great. And reassured me that my head wasn't gonna fall off <laughs> and that there was something that would likely help. And they, um, she called it dry needling, which is putting the acupuncture needles in and then putting a little electrical stimulation on the needles, of course they conduct through the metal. And um, you just have to lie there and uh, have the electricity help relax all the muscles. Well, so I finally got to go for my first session with Dr. Richards and she just had me lie face down on a table and put some needles in, you barely feel them. And then she was explaining what all she was doing during the whole time. And uh, she got all the needles placed to her satisfaction. And then she put the little electrical electrodes on the needles. And I just had to lie there for 20 or 30 minutes and, and then it was done. And when I got up from that, everything was so much better immediately. Yeah. And uh, so I said, well, when do I need to come back? And she said, uh, how about three weeks? So I said, okay. And um, then when I got home, my neck was so much better and the effects lasted for at least a couple of weeks. I mean, I didn't have this severe stiffness and the grinding. Um, every once in a while, there would be like a little click in my neck, but um, most of that was done. Oh yes, um, I could turn my head either way quite well. Um, before, uh, when I tried to turn my neck, um, I could only turn it so far. And uh, by now it felt very relaxed and it would even affect my sleep that it, my neck was so stiff. And I actually bought myself a very expensive pillow to help with that. Um, and even that made me more comfortable, but it still was a problem. I started in September was my first uh, episode and then about every three weeks I would repeat the procedure and have the needles go in again. I look forward to it because it's so relaxing. It used to be <clears throat> before I had this done you could actually see my trapezius muscles, which is a big triangular muscle that connects your head to your shoulders. And it was just like tight bands right here um, all the time. And this um, dry needling helped all that. And I think Dr. Walpert could see the tension in my neck just from feeling it. Actually, I had been to Dr. Richards uh, once before where I was having um, some dietary issues and her daughter, who um, is a trained dietitian, um, recommended I do a special diet called an elimination diet. And she gave me two or three printed pages of things I could eat and things I should not eat. And so I followed that and I got significantly better and it actually helped reduce the intensity of my arthritis as well. So, you know, there's a lot to be said for eating the correct things and staying away from bread, for instance, uh, gluten. I mean, I really like bread, but um, it does bad things to me and makes my arthritis worse. My life was kind of relaxed because I'm retired, but I like to do gardening and uh, I feed birds and like, like to go bird watching. 
and um, and it was at times getting harder to do the gardening um, and uh, just bending over and doing working with plants it would hurt my neck and now it's much better. Um, bird watching, you gotta hold the binoculars up and hold your head still. And um, <clears throat> that was an issue too. By now it's good. Well, I have a lot of cardinals at my house, but I really like peleated woodpeckers. And I went down to a, a place called Little St. Simon's Island to go bird watching. And they had painted buntings there. They're, they have feeders just for the painted buntings, and so there's quite a few of them, and they're just beautiful. And then I like big um, wading birds, too. Well, my neck was bothering me when I went to Little St. Simon's in April, and I was concerned about sitting there with my binoculars, and, you know, just, it hurt. So I really needed to do something to get fixed. And I'm glad it didn't involve a sharp knife. <laughs> no, uh, oftentimes neurosurgeons like to cut, but um, they know what their limits are. And one of the first rules in medicine is first, do no harm. And that is, has to be strictly abided by, especially for cutting on somebody's nervous system. Yes, I would definitely recommend Dr. Walpert in a heartbeat from a cardiologist because she's a great physician and um, does an excellent job all the time. Yes, um, she is very personable, um, doesn't o talk over you when you're trying to say something, listens very carefully, does appropriate physical exam uh, without feeling threatening. She would talk a little bit about her family, which was to me very sweet, um, because it's a very important part of her life as well. Um, but she's all about business and knowing what to do, what not to do. And when she whips around the hospital, Dr. Richards has told me this, that the two of them together were like a dark cloud almost all the time. So really tough, hard things happening um, to both of them. I really choose to see women physicians because I think they uh, are more apt to listen um, and be ex do exacting things, not just kind of sl slide over things. Um, which certainly there's good men physicians too, but um, it's just my preference. I did, oh well, just the nurse took me back to the room, was very kind. Everybody used my uh, title as doctor, um, which was, that was nice for me because don't always get recognized as a physician and it took many years to achieve that and so just acknowledging that fact was nice for me but uh, also um, her staff are right on task with everything courteous and uh, respectful and um, know how to Take a blood pressure, for instance, some people don't. <laughs> um, but yes, they were excellent. Yes, in fact, um, there was one issue that came up for me and that is that getting this acupuncture isn't covered by Medicare. It is for lumbar spine only, but um, the neck doesn't count. So. Um, Stephanie, the uh, manager, said that she would try and help me work through that and apply. My, I had the list of bills um, and Stephanie took charge and 
has apparently contacted and sent in to Medicare to see if I would get reimbursed. But that was over the top and very nice for me because I'm on a fixed income at this point and it gets expensive. So that was uh, a really good thing. And everybody else at that office has been uh, equally outgoing and so I really enjoy reading a lot mm -hmm. and you know when you're holding a book you kind of dip your head. I really had to reduce how much I could read because my neck was so stiff all the time. So now I can go back to my reading but I'm so busy doing other stuff now because <laughs> I feel so much better that I haven't been reading so much. One other thing was that I have a couple of friends who are getting in injections in their back and in their neck and for all these aches and pains. And uh, it's really time consuming and you have to have a driver to go take you there. And, uh, and then it hurts when they stick those big long needles in and inject steroids and painkillers. Yeah, but at least it's paid for. Yeah, but I would much rather get acupuncture than do that. Well, I've had it in the past, and um, but these were people who did not have an MD um, and had learned it, you know, from some place, but might not be as skilled as the person doing mine. I think there are plenty of well-trained acupuncture people now and that it should be kind of more of a mainstream procedure um, and with insurance coverage. Oh right, you know it's physiologic, you are what you eat and that's a big premise of integrative medicine was that there's dietary things you're doing that are messing you up.